So in this video, guys, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to train, get back into the gym, get kicking ass again. Now the gyms are open. So how are we gonna do this? So if you haven't trained at all, your body is gonna be in a situation where you're gonna be able to experience newbie gains, where you basically become very, very detrained by not being able to work out correctly, not being able to put your body on certain loads. So therefore, you coming back into training is like a whole new stimulus. So um, if you haven't trained at all, don't worry because you've got to bounce back. So I'm gonna talk you through this in this video. If you have been training, you'll be doing more body weight and more uh, resistance, uh, sorry, more body weight and more using more resistance bands and not using bigger loads. Then again, we're gonna talk you through how to optimize your training coming back into the gym to get the maximum amount of muscle growth and recomposition your body so you get kicking ass again. So firstly, we're gonna start with those of you who have done uh, training just using resistance bands and just body weight. So awesome work too. You should have been able to maintain and progress your uh, physique from where you are at the moment. You should have been able to make some good progress during this period. Now, now we have the gym available, so we're at King's Gym, the uh, equipment available will give you the ability to increase the actual loading you'll be able to put on the muscles. So this means when you go back in, you're gonna sit, like feel serious doms if you go back in probably trying to do what you did before the lockdown situation. So what we'd be looking to do here and what I would suggest is we basically wanna be trying to focus on skill acquisition because if you haven't, for example, done a back squat for three months and you try and go back in exactly where you were before, guess what, you've become detrained in that movement. So we need to focus on bringing back up the movement patterns, getting that technique sharp again, and get the muscles firing. So what I would suggest we look to do is we have a higher frequency of training. So probably for the first two weeks, I'd look to do something like a full body training split. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, as an example, train the entire body, do maybe just two sets per body part. So say for example, two sets of back squats, two sets of bench press, two sets of deadlifts, two sets of chin-ups, as a very basic example, and then do the same on a Wednesday and the same on a Friday. Probably do that for two to three weeks, and that'd be a very good way for you to build back up your base strength, base physique, and not absolutely destroy yourself. Because if you come into the gym and try and go balls out into a full leg workout that you haven't done for three to four months, it'd be like when you first put people in the gym and they haven't trained before, you will not be able to walk for probably seven days and you're gonna be crippled. So this is not gonna be conducive to you getting back into the get back into the gym and get the progress you're looking for. So we want to start progressing yourself back up with frequency, loads, technique, and building back, back in the skill. Um, once you've done that for probably two to three weeks, I've then looked to split things up more maybe and go to maybe uh, an upper lower body training split. So you full train full upper body, full lower body, day off, repeat, upper body, lower body, day off, repeat and then probably do that for two to three weeks and then go back into maybe a body part split if that was what you were doing before, or then go back into your normal training regime. It'll probably take you three to four weeks at least to get your body back up to being able to have the skill acquisition to train correctly and also be able to build, um, build muscle and actually repair itself correctly. So that would be point number one for those of you who have the ability to train with body weight and also have resistance bands available. So for those of you who have done absolutely no training at all and you've just been chilling out with Netflix, Probably not the best thing to do in the last few months, but I can understand. Um, so my reality, what I would do here is probably a very similar approach, but in reality, what you're probably looking to do is maybe add in a little bit of cardio because you've probably become a little bit softer respectfully. So I'd look to try and do the same sort of approach, start with full body training and probably progress that upwards from there. If you haven't trained at all, I'd probably stick to full body training for probably the first six weeks, do that three to four times a week. And then once you get to a position where you feel like you're recovering really, really well, strength's improving, you're moving really well, then we can look to maybe step things, uh, progress things on, sorry, and then come into more of like an upper lower training split or then go into a body part split. But the one thing I really wanna focus on for you guys here is that you don't go straight into where you were before because you are just gonna get crippled. Uh, you can be very, very sore in terms of muscle doms. Risk of injury is gonna be very high because you're not gonna have uh, this skill at, at, skill at the time and the, uh, the muscle coordination as well as you did before. So it's gonna be like that, that uh, thing when you see people go into the gym and they're shaking under a bar because they can't control it. You'll be very much like that at the beginning because you will have lost that skill of being able to control that weight. That will come back very, very quickly because the body's an amazing machine, so don't be stressed, but really focus on just thinking about getting the technique right again, get your body moving again, and your body back will bounce back so, so quickly. Obviously, this is an elite level we're talking about it, but if you look at, say, like someone like Kevin Leverone, one of the best bodybuilders in the world, it's an awesome example of what can be achieved in terms of bouncing back. Obviously, it's an elite level, but everyone has the ability to bounce back really well here. So in terms of the next steps and what I would suggest you do as well in terms of training, 
focus on getting your nutrition nailed, really focus on the main macronutrient we want to focus on here for recovery is proteins, so at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight, please. Make sure you stay hydrated and keep on top of your sleep. And those are the very basics I'd recommend for you to get the maximum of gains, muscle back on you, progress when you go back into the gym. Now we're good to go. Um, additionally to that, we'll have another video coming up shortly, which we'll be talking more through nutrition uh, tactics and techniques to get you the maximum amount of progress during this phase. So exciting times, we're going back to normal, we'll be able to kick some ass. If you guys want any help specifically, want to work with me or see your coaching team, drop us a comment below or hit the link below to apply with work with myself. We'd love to help we'll get some world-class results and I want you to be next. So if you guys found this video helpful, please smash the like button, drop us a comment below and subscribe. We will see you in the next one.